What's up you guys and welcome to a new type of series that I'm going to try out on the channel and it's just more Pokemon content. Primarily focusing on Pokemon battles. It's not necessarily a playthrough. I don't have a name for the series yet, but this is just going to be a pilot. So if you have an idea for the name of the series, then just let me know. But uh, this is going to be a battle that happened today between me and my friend Florencio, otherwise known as Lynch. We've been promising to do a rival battle until he beat the game, because I beat the game way before him. But, um, we're having a rival battle because I usually name my rivals after him. But since you couldn't name your rivals, I thought it would be appropriate to kind of just have our own story-driven battle with our main story teams. So the first turn, he withdraws his fairy type because he suspected that I would have a fire move, as, as I do with Houndoom. But I went with Sludge Bomb because it's the quad effectiveness on Rabombi. Then it's not very effective on his Lycan Rock. On the second turn, I decided not to switch out to try and get the Dark Pulse Flinch, but he outspeeds me. I had a Quick Claw on this Houndoom, but it didn't come through, so that was a wasted turn. I send out Jazzy Jane, which is my Malamar, because I feel like I could take it out with a free superpower. Of course, that Lycan Rock outspeeds me. It's fast as fuck, basically Sonic. I mean, it's shiny as blue. And hello there, one superpower takes it out. I love Malamar, one of my favorite competitive Pokemon to use. But that takes out his Lycan Rock. That's even teams. Let's see what happens next. He decides to send out Tattle, his Rabombi. Like the name for that. Very good. He has actually very good nicknames on this Pokemon. Pollen Puff, the signature move. Fairy type. I am dead. Fairy and Bug are just Malamar's worst enemy. The MVP right here, Lycan Rock, deciding to come in and take it down. Stun Spore misses, thank goodness, and I go for the Fire Fang because it's a tough clause and I thought it would kill, but it barely lives. So I decided to go for the Excel Rock just to, you know, clutch that kill. Because Lycan Rock does not need any damage on him right now, he's a frail boy. Sends out his Epona, which is his Mudsdale. Again, great nicknames. I switch out Lycanroc because I don't want to lose him yet. He's probably going to use Earthquake, so it sounds about Bloodwing because he can take an Earthquake. No joke. Bloodwing is a bulky boy. We are living. We got 98 health. That did nothing. And I suspected he was going to switch out, but I decided to go for the Leaf Blade anyway. And he switches out to Will Byers, his Malamar. Can't get enough of these nicknames. Of course, Malamar is going to live it. Now you think I would switch out because of the type disadvantage, but I decided not to. I went for the Brave Bird and he went for the Foul Play. I thought I could outspeed Malamar, but I guess not. And Foul Play is going to get a crit, you know, because that was necessary. And it seems like Florencio is now in the lead. My Diggersby, otherwise known as Araquanid, is coming out. This is one of my best team members. He's so bulky, he's so powerful, and he can take hits. Like, I love, I love Araquanid. I actually misclicked there. I meant to use Lunge, but Liquidation killed anyway. Now he's going to send out Dart. Loving these Stranger Things references. His Gudra. Now this is going to be a problem because Gudra's bulky and can hit hard. But Diggersby can take it. I decided to go for Leech Life to see how much health it takes. Because my other moves were neutral, like Water moves, so I'm just going to stick with Bug. And it took a decent amount of ones, but I wanted to do more damage, so I decided to see what my other moves would do. He goes for Sludge Wave, and that did a quite a doozy of damage. Lunge is a great move because it lowers the attack stat, but this is a special Gudra, so that kind of did nothing, so I'm guaranteed dead the next turn. This is not looking well for me. It's still quite an intense battle so far. I'm loving it. All right, we're on my second to last Pokemon, Rodafus, my Noivern. I definitely knew I was going to outspeed it, so I thought he was going to switch out, but I still went for the move that was super effective. He does not switch out, and I get the free kill. Or so you think. He lives on 2 HP. And, yeah, Rodafus is going down. He can't take a hit for shit. You know, if I wasn't dedicated on evolving that Noibet, that dragon slot would be to a better dragon. Noivern's great, but he just can't take a hit. I go for the Excel Rock because I need to get the kill on this. I need to do as much damage as possible. I know he has that Mudsdale still, but he also has this. 
and that's not good for my health. I thought I could outspeed it, so I went for Fire Fang, and I did outspeed it, but not enough. Dad insult to injury, here comes the Z move. Bloom Doom. I think you know where this is going. Lycanroc's basically the Noivern of rock types. He is He's frail, he's a frail boy. And I'm assuming that was Trop Kick, so it's physical, so... Ouch. And that's game. Florencia won. I decided to save the battle because it was a historic moment. You know, a rival battle. And it was a very intense battle at that. Good choice in music. He saved it as well. But uh, that is the battle there. Uh, tell me what you think of the series, and I'm going to start saving battles from now on. Let's start doing commentary on them. Um, yeah, hope you had a good time on Ride Time. I will see you all next time.